Hey guys, if you like what you hear, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I would be so happy if you support me on Patreon. Have fun! Oh, hi. You're standing outside of my cubicle again. Do you need something? Yeah, I'm going to punch out real soon. Why? No, I don't have any plans. Well, actually I was going to call up with my favorite book tonight. I got a new box of tea and I wanted to test it out. Seemed like perfect weather for blankets and... I'm sorry, I'm oversharing. What were you saying? It is not cute when I talk about reading. You can't just say things like that in an office. Oh, you know I don't like it when you get that look on your face. Please, just tell me what's going through your head. Yes, on Wednesday, exactly 23 days ago, you were hungry and I let you eat my lunch. Why are you bringing this up now? You want to pay me back? Oh, that's great. So, as you may remember, you ate my grilled cheese sandwich, my mixed bag of granola and my yogurt cup. Do you have those things? Or is this more of a food for money transaction? That's not what you meant? I don't understand. How else could you pay me back? Take me out? Like to a place that sells food? With you? I'm sorry, but I just remembered I have somewhere to be. I have to take a rain check on that payment. Sorry. Hey. Uh, <laughs> you're standing in the cubicle entrance and I can't really get past you. Would you mind stepping to the side? Yeah, I was worried you'd say that. And I thought we retired that nickname. But if you aren't ready to, I'm sure we can have a lengthy conversation about. Come on, get off me. I wasn't running, I was just jumping over the cubicle wall for fun. Honest. I wasn't trying to escape the conversation. I just saw a piece of cheese running away. <sighs> Fine. I was trying to escape. And it would have worked if it wasn't for those cat reflexes of yours. I swear, you were ready to pounce the moment you laid eyes on me. You were ready because you pounce on things you like? No, you always do this. You get me alone, trapped, then you do everything you can to fluster me. Well, it's not going to work. We're just co-workers, and I... Are you... purring? That feels really nice, actually. Your fur is really soft, too. Pet you? No, that would be... Uh, uh, I'm not going to let your antics get to me. If it will get you off me, I will accept your offer of eating together. You know, it's really unfair to call me short. As far as mouse can go, I'm perfectly average. You're just tall. You never see cats above six foot. Then you come. Strutting in, acting like you're the normal one. And I'm the anomaly. <laughs> yeah? Jaguars are technically big cats, but that doesn't change anything. Even lions and tigers don't usually get to be your height. 
So if either of us should have a nickname, it should be you. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to give you a pet name. A pet name would suggest endearment or a tear of affection. That is usually reserved for those who are dating. And we are not dating. Do I want us to be dating? I... I... I'm not hiding in my ears, and if I was, it would be for some unrelated reason not to hide the blush. So don't think that's what's happening. Stop it! It's not cute! Let's just go to wherever you have planned. Thanks for driving us here. I haven't renewed my license in a while. So, what kind of food do they serve here? That sounds great, but I don't see any of that on the menu. A secret menu? That sounds fun. What's the best thing on it? Are you messing with me right now? It just seems like that kind of dish wouldn't be at the place like this. Are you trying to get me to order it and then, I don't know, the waiters laugh at me or something? You're sure this isn't a prank? I really want to believe you, but you're doing that I've done a bad thing smile. Like when you rubbed catnip all over my cubicle. That was not funny. Catnip might be nice for you. But it is very repelling to Gena's mass. I had to work in the break room for three days. You know what? I don't believe you. I'm sure that there is no secret menu and you're trying to trick me. You order for me? Well, I guess that avoids any risk on my part. Fine, just pick something you think I'd like. Oh, wow, this looks really good. Honestly, I thought you'd pick something weird to mess with me. It smells great too. Oh, this tastes even better. Thanks for taking me here. Yeah, this is a great first date. Wait a second. Is this a date? No, that can't be right. Because if this is a date, then that means we are on a date together. If we are on a date together, with no one else around, and this isn't a prank, then that would mean... Oh, sweet cheese. The signs were there from the start. You're trying to court me. Oh, keep your tail to yourself, no matter how fluffy it may be. No, don't wrap it around my leg. That's romantically charged. That's what cat can do when they are making a pass at someone. You can just... I don't want to... <sighs> this is really confusing. <sighs> yes, it's confusing. You're always confusing. Sometimes you act all soft and cuddly, but then sometimes you're like a hungry predator. And you're so big, and probably very strong, and definitely really hot, and... Did I just say that out loud? No, I'm not saying I'm attracted to you. I just... I just... Don't laugh at me! 
This is very difficult. You're way out of my league. There are tons of other people you could have at the office. People who are objectively more desirable than me. Are you just toying with me? Is this an elaborate game of cat and mouse to you? You actually like me? Just for myself? I don't believe that. I won't believe that. You're smart and funny and flirty and a predator species, so you've got that going on and I'm just a mouse. I don't have fun colors or cool eyes or even a natural affinity for anything. I just read and burrow into blankets. Do you really think that's cute? Hmm. I, I don't know what to say. No one's ever really pursued a romantic relationship with me before. I've never been this far. Can you just drive me home? I do want to date you, but I think I need a couple days to process this. Thank you. This one's mine. Thanks for getting me here. Thanks for the meal, too. Even if you kind of owed me. It was nice. I'm sorry if I messed up your date plans. I just wasn't ready for someone to be that... nice, I guess? A way to make it up to you? Yeah, what? Wow. I already knew you were bigger than me, but it's really evident with this hug. <laughs> Your fur smells good. Kind of like chai. That was really nice. I, I'd like to do this again sometime. If that be okay with you? I look forward to it. Before you go, can I... Can I ask you something? Okay, this might be a dumb question, especially after everything we did today, but are you sure you want to date me? Thanks for answering. I just... I wanted to make sure. <laughs>